time. My name is Nancy Prince, and we're going to be covering the information contained in Professional Guide to Grant Writing. The first area I want to talk about are types of grant funding. The two basic types of funding that you have are public funding or government funding or private funding, which is foundation funding. For either one, you have to start off by researching available funding sources to find grants offered by the federal government you have to visit their website which is grants.gov and there you will find the most comprehensive uh, database available for federal funding. I use the Foundation Center which is private, costs a little, a little money every month. You can get packages that will allow you to search for over 10,000 funding sources. And at the foundationcenter.org, you'll be able to identify what foundations are looking to fund. Some foundations are interested in funding programs that benefit children. Some foundations have guidelines that are designed to benefit those in the arts. Others, medical research industrial. You name it, there is a grant opportunity available for it, either through the federal government or through a private foundation. So those are the two types of grant funding, public or government, and you search for that funding on grants.gov and private funding, which is foundation funding. Uh, foundations are derived from two sources. You could establish a foundation and name it after a deceased relative or someone that you admire. Let's say the Martin Luther Jr. King Foundation. What just so happens I got them a grant. Yes, in California. It is a Martin Luther King Jr. Foundation for Nonviolence. And I wrote a grant proposal for them for conflict resolution. They sent out the grant proposal I wrote for them, and within 10 days, they had some funding. Uh, Laity Art also used that same foundation grant proposal to secure funding. Uh, I'd have to say within two or three months of sending out their grant proposal. Typically, it's going to be nine to twelve months to get a grant. And that is why networking is so vitally important to grant acquisition. On my website, I say getting a grant or the grant acquisition process is more like farming and less like hunting. So we've covered the two basic types of grant funding, which are public or government or private, which is foundation. Sometimes corporations or frequently corporations develop or establish foundations as a way to give their charitable donations. And these charitable donations make it possible for 
that organization or that foundation that is giving money to not pay taxes on it. So if General Motors decides to, or Ford, because Ford actually does have the Ford Foundation, and they actually do make grants. So let's say Ford Motor Company, um, they have a foundation that we've already established, and they give grant money. So what we would do is that we would write a letter of intent. A letter of intent is a foundation grant proposal, and it can also serve as the narrative section of your government grant proposal. So your public funding or your government funding has to be approached or applied for using the method that they identify. Usually it's an application that will request that you provide a narrative. Of course, budgets very frequently, they're going to want to uh, itemize um, audited bank statements or financial records that go back at least two years. And that has become true for government, which is public, and foundation, which is private funding. So let's get back to the basic components of the foundation grant proposal or the letter of intent. And we've already established that you can use that letter of intent for the narrative section of your government grant proposal. But this letter of intent is also used to open the door or as a way to introduce your organization to a funding source. So the letter of intent is typically three to four pages long. The first component is a cover letter which briefly introduces your company or organization's history. And it's vitally important to lead with information that demonstrates how committed your organization is to your mission. Because those are the organizations that get funded, the ones that are committed to their mission. So you identify information about your organization that reflects the best position of your organization, your strongest position, along with the funding amount requested. The next component after the cover letter is your program summary or program description. Foundations frequently have online applications. And within those online applications, uh, instead of a cover letter, maybe they will ask you for your funding request information on how much money you want, the history of your organization, the, your objectives, your methods. They may ask for all that information in your cover letter, or they may request the information further down in your grant proposal. 